Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We have Katie Davis with us today. And the way that I would normally introduce Katie Davis is one of my favorite podcasters, one of my favorite authors, <laughs> but she's not talking podcaster or an author. So Katie Davis, welcome. And tell us what you're here today for. Talk I'm about. talking about what you wanted me to talk about, which is how can writers get support in the writing? Because it's such a lonely profession or obsession or hobby or what, whatever, whatever way you do it, it's so hard. Whether you're amateur or impassioned hobbyist or professional or trying to be professional or freelance or full-time, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's so hard, but it's so fulfilling and so fun. And it's so, um, it, it's just mind-bending how, how rewarding it is and fulfilling to your heart. So that's why we keep doing it. And even though we keep doing it, I, I was talking all day, all this morning with a friend of mine who's in my critique group and we're like, bah! you know, and so no matter, and she's fully like many, many books published and it doesn't matter, you know, wherever we are in our careers, you know, we need support. So we're talking about that today. And was it one or two years ago, your husband and you took over at the Institute for Writers two years ago. Right. And so it was about to, the founders were going to be retiring and um, you took it over and rebranded, I believe, a yes, little bit of rebranding, yes, right? Did, yes, And well, just, you, sorry, can, is, are there comments? Yes. Uh, like when you do a Facebook Live, will there be, com can you see comments? I can't see. Yep, them. I'll see comments. So okay. if we have any questions, I'll definitely, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, because so I can't see them. All right. So tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about the Institute. Tell us about who can join, who is it for, and what do they offer? That's okay. what we really want to hear today. Like right. you said, this can be a lonely road, yeah. and you help solve that problem. Um, well, almost 50 years ago, these guys started the, the Institute of Children's Literature. And back there. And it was an amazing idea. It was... Um, not online, obviously, in 1969. They, people would um, send in their assignments, and these are all college level, um, approved by the state, you know, the, the university level, uh, Board of Education, and the, we just went through a whole big process of how we had to show them everything. It was uh, We prepared for this for like four or five months, and we went through this whole big, an entire day of questions and showing everything. So it's, this is, these courses are amazing, and that's really why we wanted to take take them take the whole school over. So they um, they established this thing. It's remote learning. So they would send the assignments to the students along with a big package full of all of their course materials and books and all that. And once a student sent their uh, assignment back, and one on one instructor was assigned, and they would basically like critique them like an editor would like line at it and say this is where it's working, this is where it's not working, um, here's what you need to do to make this um, better and how you have to develop this character. Oh look, there's there's Kelly Panique. She's, she's, I didn't know this worked like this. This is not in Facebook Live, you guys. This is a, in another platform, but it's coming through Facebook, I guess. But this is my, <laughs> it's my first time. Anyway, so, um, so that's how it works. So you get a one-on-one -on -one guide to develop your writing and de eventually develop manuscripts that are ready to be submitted. So then 20 years after that, they created what was then called, what was then called, um, they called it Long Ridge Writers Group, which now means nothing to anyone because Long Ridge Road was the street that they had that big house on. If anybody ever saw the original, I guess you would want to call it logo, but it was just basically a house that they had, gigantic, 10,000 square feet. It was huge. And um, when we first got there to talk to them about taking over, we turned the corner. I was like, oh, that's the house. That's the iconic house. Anyway, they really had that house and they, uh, it was gigantic and they, you, you know, created the entire school, both schools in there. Because Long Ridge Writers Group was to teach people to write for adults, adult target group. And obviously, Institute of Children's Literature was targeted towards people who wanted to write for children. 
We renamed the entire thing. This is much too confusing, and I kind of wish we had a better choice in this, but the reason we called the whole thing IFW, Institute for Writers, more generic, people know what we do, they know that it's for writers, and the adult side is that, IFW, and the kids' side is ICL, because we, ICL is so well-known and so well-established that we thought we're not going to you know, rename that, but we do have to kind of rename the Long Ridge Writer side. But then do we want a third name to call the whole school? It, it got too confusing. So we kind of... Okay. So we call the whole school, both schools, IFW, but really the IFW part is the adult... Uh, and we couldn't call it school, you know, the Institute for Adult Writers because that sounded like porn. So it got kind of, <laughs> confu <laughs> got kind of confusing. But anyway, that's the basic explanation. And we're still doing these great courses, and we're, uh, we've, we're still in the process of updating over, even though it's been like two years. Um, little things like, not the content, because the content is super solid, but things like, you know, get your typewriter and la la la. So those kinds of things had never been updated, and we needed to do that. And now, to answer your original question, we are starting to do other things with the the things that we're good at combined with the things that we, all the assets and all the stuff that we have with the school to help support all the writers that we have been getting to know newly, who we already know through the school and um, who I knew already through all of my support of writers over the past years, decade or so. So Katie, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well let's say, let's say I'm a new writer Script, and I joined the organization. Like, tell me three things that might be offered to me. And I'm sorry, it sounds like our connections in and out. Mm. Tell me three things that might be offered to me virtually mm -hmm. as well, a writer. Mm -hmm. Well, if especially if you're a new writer, one thing. I mean, we we ask people. People, not everybody can take our course. Like when you take an online course, they're just a lot of times people just want to you know, have you sign up because, you know, it's a business. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's a business and you, you know, know what you're getting into because you're going to read the fine print, right? So, but with us, you know, we're a college level course. Well, all the courses are college level. So you do, like other colleges, you need to take an entrance in a way. So our entrance, so that we know if you really can write, if you can put two sentences together, if you are the right match for our, our courses, um, we ask that you take an aptitude test or writing, you know, be able to write um, to our college level. And not everybody gets in because we, we can't do that to you. We can't do that to our instructors who are going to be teaching you. And we don't want to promise something that we can't do. Um, and so, oh, you're not showing me, are you now? <laughs> me to me. Um, so I know you're moving around to get a better connection, right? I assume. So anyway, so that's so one thing we would offer. The first thing we would say is take our let us assess your writing. We will assess your writing for free. It's on our website. It's called the aptitude test. We we, we debated should we still call it a test because nobody wants to take a test, right? But it was called a test for fifty years. So. Um, we've just changed it up a little bit. Um, you can go on our website and it says aptitude test. You click on that and you can, you know, you can just go in there and, and it's writing. Really, if you're a writer, you, sh you know, you'd be like, yay, I get to write. So, and it's, and it's specific <laughs> toward whether, depending on whether you want to write for a target audience of adults. And there's another one for the ICL side, if you want to write for children. And it's pretty self-explanatory right at the top of our website. It's instituteforwriters.com. And so there's that. That would be the first thing we would offer you. Another thing would be we have quarterly contests and uh, we have cash prizes, $1,300 in cash prizes. And what we try to do is, yeah, I know, it's a lot of money, right? So I think first prize is $650, second prize is $350, and then we have three other prizes that are $100 each. So, and then, to top it off, we also have what I wanted to do um, when we took over is used to be they, and that was it, they would award money. It was a little less than that at the time, but um, they would award the money and that would be it. And then what we did was we decided 
Uh, we wanted to also offer people who did not get the first five places and did not win money. We wanted to still give them something because there's a $19 entry reading fee because um, we have a judge and we get a lot of entries. And, um, and so we, we wanted to give them something too. So it wouldn't just be like, well, you know, I paid this entry fee and, right? So we wanted to give them a lesson, a free online workshop to go along with that. So we offer that to everyone and there's replay and people have been loving that. It's been, actually, it's one of my, you know, fun parts. We have one tonight. I'm really excited. So hence the mascara. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, we have, we have, really good time with that and tonight is one um we had a, a meet cute contest this was our first on the ifw side because we had not been running them we'd only been doing children's writing contests and the next children's writing contest is being announced next thursday at our um online workshop which is thursday night and oh no i don't have a link for that maybe if kelly is still here maybe she can um put it in if you're if you're an entrant to the contest it's part of your entry reading fee. But if you're not and you still want to come to the um, online workshop, there's a $7 fee to get into the workshop because you know, it wouldn't be fair to the entrance otherwise. So it's just like kind of a you know ticket or whatever, you know, a nod. I don't know. Excellent. You, and you know what I mean? So, um, we, and we're, have new, we have some to interrupt real quick. We have some new people joining us. So I just want to go back and tell everyone that Katie Davis is on with us today and she's sharing three pieces of information and support that the Institute for Writers and for Children's Book Writers offers. And the first mm -hmm. that she spoke about an assessment. is the aptitude test. Right, which is an assessment of your writing. Which is a, well, yep, we don't want to call it a test. But. No, but we, we have to <laughs> call it a test because of historically, yeah. Right. It is, it is. But then, too, she talks about this, which motivates people, and that's something that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, the, well, what the test does, the, I mean, the, what the uh, contests do is, uh, I was going to say trifold, but it's manyfold because it gets you used to getting, to, you know, finishing at a deadline. It gets you used to submission rules. There's the me cute webinar workshop webinar but then also kelly what about next thursday is there a link thank for, you kelly yeah the children's um that that's the meet cute that's for tonight that was a romance very cute what we do during them the workshops is we read the winning entries and then we critique them live so you get to hear what makes a winning entry and where a winning entry even can improve and the judge is there talking about what, how he or she chose, and I talk about you know what I where I think it could improve and some other things. So, and um, so that and the other things, uh, how to submit, like how to follow the direction. Okay, so the third thing I would say, and this is something I'm really excited about, is um, well, let me. It's a beta test. I don't know if you know what a beta test is, but it's sort of a. Um, before the public gets to know about this, it's a, um, a test. <laughs> um, so, all right, here's, let me go, let me backtrack a little bit. So you know how a critique group works, right? I mean, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you all are writers, so you know how to critique group. You share your work in progress, right? And you get feedback, uh, input from the people in the group. And uh, you know, you learn how to make improvements and all that before you send your work out into the world. So I am sort of putting this idea out into the world. I want the people involved to be kind of like my critique group for this new project. And what we're starting is something new to help writers, but because we want to tailor it to the writers, we don't want to just launch it and say, this is what it is. We want to tailor it to writers so it's going to be put out there as a work in progress. And that way we can get feedback of the initial people and um, give writers exactly what they want based on the input that we get from the, the charter members. And that's what we're going to call the first people. They're not going to be beta testers, the charter members. And, and in exchange for that, that feedback, we are never going to charge them more than what we tell them right at the beginning. No matter how big this thing gets, no matter how much we add to it, no matter any of that stuff, they will always be the charter members at the very base 
first test price, which is going to be very low. So um, that's fantastic. And yeah, cool. I have to say, I think what really attracts me, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. What really, what really attracts me to the Institute is the ability to do all of this virtually. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, as a mother and growing my writing business as the mother of young mm -hmm. children, it was really challenging to get out of the house to, to join a critique group right. or to get out of the house to go to a writing workshop or a conference. Right. Yeah, so that's, the that's, fact that your platform offers all of this, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. Yeah, it's it's very cool and we're going to, you know, for this, um, I don't want to call it a membership, but I guess it's kind of like a membership. We're going to be offering, we have industry experts coming in and um, we're going to be offering curated market information and um, guides and videos and uh, you know, we're going to have prompts available and support groups and all this stuff, you know, dares and challenges and um, free content and critiques, which we offer as a paid service, but for people who are in the group, they will be getting that as part of their membership. So, and it will be, you know, great package. So if, you know, we haven't started, I think we're going to be launching it in December. It's now November. So, um, let me see. I think I have, where is, I think I have a bit.ly for it. The bit.ly is, it's just to see if you're interested. It's not to sign up or anything. Nobody's obligated. But if you're interested, okay. it's bit.ly, you know, bit.ly slash free IFW. So okay, I, let me I, don't, I don't think there's a way for me to put in a comment here. Um, let's see. I can put it in, in our chat, but I chatted it to you. It's bit.ly. Yeah, you see that I chatted it to you? Okay. And yeah, I'll grab it from there. Yeah. Perfect. So, or, or Kelly can put it up because <laughs> she's here and she knows what it is. Yeah. It's well, I got it. I got it for you. Okay. Perfect. I think it's excellent. And, and what would you say, just as we wrap up I, I, your time today, what would you say that members currently, what is the positive Thing that they love about the Institute? What, what is their favorite thing about what they're getting out of it? Uh, well, I, I think I heard most of that question. What's their favorite thing that people who are involved in the Institute's, what's their favorite things? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we send out surveys all the time, like to people who are in courses. We send out a mid-course survey and an end-course survey, and people do critiques, they get surveys. So we're hearing from people from all different parts of the the schools and it's, it depends on what part of the schools are taking advantage of. We um, we have you know people. I just got an a an amazing um, an amazing email from someone just about our newsletter and what she did was she appreciated the newsletter so much because she said, "Oh my gosh, it never occurred to me to." associate my most um, energetic time of the day with when I should be writing. And so she said, I'm now setting up, because we have, we have a blogger who, sent, who, who wrote a blog post and we sent it out to our newsletter saying, look, here's the best part of this blog. You know, maybe you should do this. And she wrote and said, oh my gosh, this was so great. So that, for that woman, that was the best, that was the greatest thing of the week. And for another person, we just got an, an email saying, this was the most thorough critique. I never expected it to be this deep. It was worth every penny, blah, blah, blah. So that is um, amazing. Uh, the newsletters for, we have two newsletters, one for IFW and one for ICL. They each go out once a week, but on different days. And they have different content. So um, if you wanted to sign up for them, you know, uh, I never know any of these links. The newsletter goes out once a week, Kelly says. <laughs> but, but each go out once a week, right, Kelly? Right. So, um, Kelly's in charge of everything. Kelly's my boss. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kelly and I have been working together for a long time. Kelly helps me remember where I put my brain. Um, so, <laughs> like, brain, brain, Kelly, where did I put my brain? So, I, I've been out of the country for a while, and I just came back, and so I was telling Maria, like, I'm 11 and a half hours off schedule. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so... Anyway, so the, uh, the newsletters are chock full of information. You can sign up um, for the information and you always get a little present when you sign up. 
um, on our website at instituteforwriters.com. And the if you want to be in our beta test for our the, the membership package, which would be uh, amazing. If you're interested at all, share the information at the bit.ly, the bit.ly IFW free. Is that what it was? I think. Yes. And she, Kelly put. Yeah. IFW. Oh, no, free IFW. See, I'm always messing that up. This is what I'm, why I need Kelly. Yeah. Bit.ly, <laughs> B-I-T dot L-Y slash free IFW, all lowercase. Um, but I'm good. I'm, I'm, I woke up to this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katie, I have just really enjoyed introducing you to the network that I am part of and, you know, say hello to your network if they can hear me through this poor internet connection. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, but we are just thankful. We are thankful for your ex for your time. So we're going to continue to share this video. If you're just tuning in, you're going to want to rewind and hear all about the Institute for Writers. You're going to want to hear about the, and they are currently offering a support for writers. Thank you so, so Katie, much. So Katie, we're going to sign off now. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I, it, was, it was a pleasure, as usual, with you. And all, of your, and all of your links and for your energy. I love your energy. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.